Welcome to another segment. And um, sometimes we're having a little technical difficulty, but we're going to do this show. We are so stoked and so glad to be here. And um, as you know, I've got the wonderful cast. I've got the director here. I've got the executive producer, uh, production assistants. They're going to all introduce themselves and we're going to get going. It's on and popping. And I am so excited. I am so glad you guys are showing up. Come on in, come on in. We want to see your comments. And we are just going to have a good time talking about Elysium Productions presents Volkov Origin. So let's let's take off. Let's get going. <laughs> so we're going to let the guys introduce themselves. We're going to start off with, um, I believe it's Mark. Is that the first person? Okay. Hi. That sounds great. We can... Start with you and tell us what you do and what your part is in the movie. Uh, my name is Mark Lutz. I'm the executive producer, uh, set gopher, uh, basically <laughs> whatever needs to get done, uh, I step in to make sure that it happens. Uh, just Lutz, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was just saying, everyone, go ahead and take turns talking. Oh, all right. <laughs> gotcha. Sorry about that. Yeah, my name's Wesley. Uh, I play Andre Volkov in Volkov Origin, and um, along with uh, George, one of the co-creators, and a gentleman named Ralph Morse, who's a big part of our family, who's unfortunately can't be here right now. But, um, right? I'm Dave Deloach. I'm one of the production assistants. Uh, I also have a role in Volkov Origin, uh, and I help out with every anything you have to do with production, uh, finding location, and I'm just part of the team. I'm Shannon Bowman. I play Volkov's father, and I'm a production assistant. I generally run sound for the company. I'm George. I'm the director, producer, writer, editor. Um, yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> Awesome, and we can't forget about Charles. Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> Charles D. Clark, actor, I play Brutus, and I'm a producer. And uh, pretty much what everybody else do, we just um, have fun assisting them with production and put it to be a smooth shooting on set. Awesome, awesome. Oh, thank you so much for introducing yourselves. Now, um, George, I know you might have to go in and out a little bit, but can you kind of introduce uh, a little bit of the plot and uh, how did this originate? How did this get started? With uh, so actually, uh, how Elysium production started? Uh, we'll go with that. So Elysium production started back in, I want to say 2005. It's actually around the time I met Wes. Um, he was putting together a show called, um, what was it? Uh, not Rock for Kids, the other one. Oh, the Throwdown, Throwdown yeah, Festival. Uh, and I think we had like, whew. at the time, maybe 15 bands on a couple of stages. And I came in as uh, pretty much a production guy. Next year, we followed it up. 2007, I believe we did 78 bands on three stages in Fairfax City. Uh, massive festival, great bands, Bob. I mean, there's pretty much every local band in the area um, from there kind of went into recording stuff and um, filming my kids in the summer and that kind of spiraled into video production uh, I'm actually a producer and editor for Amazon full-time so my life pretty much revolves uh, professionally at work 40 hours a week doing video production and then I come home and run a business doing the same thing so I'm lucky enough to say that I, I literally live and breathe there was something that I love to do. So, oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. So, um, as we want to make different points, you know, you guys can just join in the conversation. You know, let's just make it very conversational. So, George, how did you uh, come up with the uh, plot and theme for Volkov? Was that a joint venture with your co creator? Yeah, actually, Wes is the one who came up with it originally. Um, oh, okay. Came up with the the pilot. I mean, he can he can say more on that before it gets to where I came in. Okay. It was okay. all George. No. <laughs> 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 no. Um, I guess there were a couple years ago. I kind of had the the uh, this 
idea that I was obsessed with the hunter meets the hunted. And I kind of really, I've seen so many different variations of that um, through television, through film, uh, comics, regular, you know, novels. And I thought, you know, I just really wanted to dig, dig a little bit deeper. And this, the whole concept, actually, I was going to do, I wanted to do a scene just for a reel, you know, maybe like an eight minute scene. If, if that may have been, you know, five to eight minutes. Um, after discussing things with George, we both kind of agreed that, you know, that could be a lot of fun. And <laughs> one thing led to another. Um, we ended up shooting a 28 minute pilot to where wow. we have the, the core concept of the hunter meets the hunted. Um, but new characters kept uh, uh, coming up and they became available and possible. And that's how, you know, like with Shannon and, and Charles and, and, and then David in the new film and then just so on and so on too. I think we have like 78, 78 or yeah. 79 actors from all over um, that are in this now. And it just really kind of blossomed into something that I think we're all very proud of. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give away too much. That sounds amazing. You know, I don't want to give away what, what the story is about, but if for everyone, <laughs> uh, anybody that saw the pilot, like I said, the pilot was originally, I believe it was, uh, it was a, a page and a half script that turned into, like I said, with everybody putting in their different inputs about the different characters, uh, it became what would, I guess what we would like to call, uh, it was basically, um, Yes, right. introduction to characters we wanted to put this out and see what people thought about the different characters the story and with all the feedback that's how we have uh volkov origin now which will be the, the i guess three-part episodic or if we're gonna go full length yeah we'll, we'll, keep that we'll figure it out that's a surprise <laughs> you'll, you'll see Charles, awesome. though, he's not gonna tell anybody right <laughs> yeah all right just jump in charles or whoever has some comments <laughs> oh say my something gosh. <laughs> well, I, I, originally, I was in the original Volkov as an extra and uh, uh, got in, introduced to George and Wes and talked with, interacted with them a little bit. And uh, they uh, said they needed a little help with the production team and uh, asked me if I'd be interested. And here I am. Awesome. <laughs> I got a awesome. roll out of it. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. So did you guys know, did most of you guys know each other beforehand or you just kind of met each other as you were? I, I can kind of answer that for me and David. We actually went to high school together. Yes. A couple, oh. uh, I think it was two years ahead of me, but we did go to high school together <laughs> and we knew each other. <laughs> um, Wes, I'd actually met through a mutual friend of ours probably 10, 12 years ago. And I didn't remember him my first day on the set and then i went back through facebook and it, it, like they're, he's standing next to my wife there's a picture of him standing next to my wife and i'm like i know that guy i can see the comments that's another story <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um this you know i met george through <laughs> Wes and uh mark through Wes and George. Wes is kind of the, the spider that wove the right. web. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like the yeah, I'm like the, the grand puppeteer of this motley amazing crew. <laughs> and it is it really truly is an amazing crew. And we Family. we bust chops and crack <laughs> jokes on each other and but at the end of the day I I'd take yeah. a bullet for any one of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to see I mean guy, except man. for Wes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Uh, I actually, I think I'm the, the latest person to really come on from behind the scenes, but it, it turns out um, I was invited in through a, a mutual person that uh, said, hey, we, we're looking for extras for the scene. Can you come out and do this? I was like, sure. Um, <laughs> and it turns out it's these two. And and uh, you know, George and, and Wes and I go back, you know, Lord, 12, 15 years from the local music scene mm -hmm. and uh it, it was it was like no time had had passed at all we just kind of you know we got got to work and and it picked up pretty much where we left off you know and that's how i got to meet uh charles back here and shannon and, and now david uh and and it's it's been a great time 
And he's the best dressed. Probably. Yeah, he's definitely the best dressed. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's the executive producer. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. bomber, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I, I look like a truck driver is what I'm called by the ball. <laughs> I have no description. The white, come on, Shannon, yeah, film the sleep. The, the panel, but oh, okay. So there there's the truck driver. Right, all right, all right. We see it. You're welcome. So, so see, listen, I, I, I am the butt of all jokes. <laughs> or the gut. The keyword butt. Or the belly. <laughs> or the gut. Or the, the gut of all jokes. <laughs> Can I tell that story? Yeah, please do. <laughs> We're on one of our last uh, location shoots, and um, it involved a classic uh, pickup truck. <laughs> now, Shannon's running sound, so he needed to lay down in the bed of the truck to hold the mic correctly so everything would be heard inside. And <laughs> George is filming, and he's, cut, cut, cut. And we're like, what's going on? He's like, Shannon, your belly is sticking out over the, it's sticking out over the back of the truck. What are we going to do about that? He's like, I'm already as low as I can get. So well, no, I that's over. when I saw you. Yeah, that that was the highlight of my day. It was uh, <laughs> a fish in the in the pan. You know, you know, you get the body you're flipping the fish. It, it took him a few minutes to flip over. So. It did. It, it really did. It was uh, it was a thing. Oh. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> All the time. Well, listen. Tell me this. So. Like for Volkov, your part, how do you get into character? How do you do that? How do you um, transform? Before it all started, um, a, a close friend of ours, uh, Ralph Morse, um, who has uh, been in theater and film, over 80 productions for his whole life. And he's been really helping me um, understand how to, I, I guess, uh, take different thoughts and different feelings and, and, and put them into something that will, you know, people can, can see and respond and, and create. And, and Charles has been a big help, um, helped me on different sets just with um, understanding, just, you know, it, let it flow. It's just kind of going to a place in your mind. It's just, that it's just, um, it's more of it's relaxing, I guess you could say is what it was. Um, a little chaotic <laughs> at times. But uh, it's been it's been an incredible journey, and thanks to everybody, it's really I, helped out a lot. So. I mean, I can kind of speak on it just from the director board. Yeah, yeah. Just from Charles and Wes being in these roles. I remember from the pilot, Charles would be in the car in the middle of winter, like thirty degrees, getting into character, breathing deep, and then sending me these thirty second reels of himself, just completely out of Charles's character into Brutus. And it's wow. it's crazy to see people transform and come out of their their you know comfort zone and go into a completely <laughs> different character. Um, knowing these guys personally, you know, I mean, it's it's a little less easy to see it from you know a cast member that we may not know as personally, but knowing these guys personally and seeing that firsthand is is pretty pretty awesome. Thank you for <laughs> saying that because I realized that my response was all over the place because I was just I was thinking there was because there's so many different Jeez. aspects of it so. For the people who are listening and heard my comment before, I apologize. I, I just couldn't stop. It was it was crazy. But uh yeah. So Charles. <laughs> Don't put you on the spot. Go ahead. I, I can... No, no, I'm talking about how like when you you know when we were developing the character, I, I remember we would sit and talk yeah. just about Brutus and then it was like it was so fun bouncing <laughs> ideas back and forth from each other. But like George said, it's just what's so cool about it now is seeing where it was mm -hmm. to seeing where it is now. So it's, well, it's, it's all about character development. I mean, when you have a, a great cast production, you learn about scene study and, and best off each other. I mean, it's pretty, you know, I won't say easy, but it's more clear to build that character. I mean, that's why it's important. Like George Buckman is producer. And he also, you know, traded me, you know, just understanding the other side of the camera because every scene has to make its mark. Every scene has to make its cinematic presence. And when it doesn't, it loses the audience. Wherever, wherever, whatever we do, go to the next scene, the audience has to be ready to jump in that scene with us. If they still in the previous scene, it means you missed the mark. So character development is we have to find truth in the character. There's something about that character that you can relate to, and then you build from there. Once you absorb the mindset, the emotions, the spiritual sense, like with Brutus, um, as George said, it was actually, um, you know, when me and Wes was talking, um, Brutus was not even uh, Brutus. It was just a bar extra, a bartender extra. But when I seen the work of George 
and seeing, you know, West, you know, creativity and seeing about who's involved, I said, I could really bring something to this character. So I watched Popeye. That's why I brought it to Western Doors about bringing Brutus back. Because we know Bluto was the original Popeye villain, but then they upped him up, upgraded him, gave him more, you know, Spazam, and he became the new biggest villain, you know, cartoons. So we took that manifest into Volkov and it just went on from there. It was a na- it's a natural organic feeling when you're building upon a scene for production. So Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> now, are you guys gonna get in the character a little bit and show us a little something, something? <laughs> I gotta wait. This is why wow. I don't act. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was actually the the that night on set is is the night that Charles and I met. Yeah, and and just you know chatting with him a little bit, and, and as he's starting that process, and it, you you know, backing off to give him a space, but but still watching the process and of you know running the lines and and you you know. The, the the body motions and, and the facial expressions and everything and then him going no that's not right again and then go right back into it a little more intent no it's still not right okay reset and, it, and just, just watching the process for for someone who that, that was my first time on a set ever uh was was actually a lot of fun to watch so wow i bet it is it's i'm sure it's amazing you know and to to think that you you know we're given a vision to for how to bring this together and um, for it to evolve. I, I know um, George, you have a you have a background in, um, in in this because you went to full sales, so you've got a lot of training. Um, what about the the rest of you guys? I know um, I know that uh, Charles is taking some additional training. Are you guys also in school or taking no, additional no. training from a coach or? No, I'm I'm a kind of hands-on learner. So, <laughs> and I, I mean, I took TV productions of, through high school, so I was kind of okay. Familiar. Well, you've got although I'm a lot older than them, <laughs> so a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Wes. <laughs> we actually had to carry him down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like I had to carry you all in the pilot. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, dude. But um, Damn, no, I, that was brutal. It was, <laughs> you know, a lot of it comes from. I like being in front of the camera, but I like being behind it more. So I started like just kind of watching George and like, do you need any help? And he's like, yeah, you can hold the boom and the sound and do that. And it, I'd rather be doing that. You got to be really good at it too. Yeah. No, really. I mean, it's just, I mean, just seeing, like, that's what, what I love about this family. It's just, oh, that is so cool. we're, we're also one everybody's to starting and fresh and, and building. And it's like, as we progress and go on, it's really cool seeing people come into their own and, 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 and ha- find a, a new passion, probably something that they never yeah. thought they would get into. So it's been fun. We have a question. Okay. Oh, oh, God. From Wes Johnson. Oh, hey! Hey! Wes. hey. hey. <laughs> Who is that? One of your friends? Yeah. You guys want to explain? Who he Wes is, uh, Mark. Uh, uh, Wes Johnson is is uh, a, a very close personal friend. One of the 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 nicest, most down to earth guys Absolutely. who will be involved in this production. Uh, he is a video game voice actor. He does. Uh, uh, PA announcements for for the Washington Castles uh, tennis team. He does PA announcements for the Washington Capitals hockey team, uh, and is a, a very evil person when it comes to finding <laughs> good sushi places and even better brisket places. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's that's who Wes is. We're and he is now uh, officially a co-writer on our production as well. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Wow. So he wants to know how difficult it is to learn the choreography for all of the song and dance numbers. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> well. Yeah. We let David lead. Yeah, David, his two David was feet. on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, uh, they call me he, David Travolta. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, no, it was a Star Search is where he originally yes. got started. You can Google his name and look up Star Search. Oh, no, he's what, only in that Hatsi Gong show. That, was it? Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> not Gong. Well, he's had some moves, though. <laughs> Thanks, Wes. Okay. Wes. Trying to get this light situated. How I, I met Wes and Mark, but it was funny. We met at uh, the free comic event at mm-hmm. Flashback Comics, and I remember I was, I was, I believe I was, yeah, I think I was talking to you, 
and Wes Johnson was behind me talking to somebody else. And someone said Wes, and I, we both turned around and said yes at the same time. <laughs> Not very often you get two guys named Wes in the same room. And back to back. And back to back. So, awesome, awesome. Bye, Wes. <laughs> hey, listen, so you guys, can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, are you going to do a little role playing? I'm, I was serious, like, you know, five minutes. Oh, well, there's really nothing right now. Yeah, I mean, because a, a lot of things that we have tied up. So it would be. Uh, I'll put it. The, the, the thing is, is that with the palette, we would revise some of the characteristics of, the, of each yeah. character. And we want to surprise that to the audience. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a whole different um, you know, magnitude of elevation with each character. It's, it's, it was way different. Same context, but different approach to it. So. Do okay. it then we'll give it away. We have two questions. No, we have a question. Two. Two. Who is the most serious and who is the funniest on the cast? <laughs> crew? That is by Debbie Perdo. Yeah. Who's serious? Um, the most, most serious. The most serious, George. When I'm on set, yeah. when I'm on set, I am 100% work, work, get it done, no laughing. I mean, there are, there are moments where I have, you know, some jokes here and there, but these guys are going to test. It's, it's all work and no play until we wrap. Um, and as far as the funniest, I mean, that's no. What is it? Know. May? What is it? May? Funny's looking. Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Yeah. Not shaking, but you always have something. There's, yeah, you always have a comment yeah. or something in the middle of. He uh, doesn't even have to say anything. He can simply fall asleep holding the boom mic. Yeah. The donut. Oh, yeah. We have a couple yeah. pictures. Yeah. We have a couple <laughs> pictures. Oh. We have a, a couple lots of pictures. <laughs> yeah. I'm also the only one that gets up at 4 a.m. every day. And I'm full. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm all Are you on that uh, the next question is from Noli. Who was the original thought of Volkov? How did it all start? Uh, like it's, I mentioned earlier, um, just to summarize up uh, uh, the concept of Volkov was kind of a, a creation of many different things uh you know going through kind of a difficult time in my life at the time and i wanted to find a new way to redirect those feelings and the anger i had and frustration and i thought it'd be kind of interesting to channel that somewhere else and then that's how the character became who he is volkov obviously in russian is is wolf. meaning for wolf and if you one thing that you'll notice throughout the story the different characteristics of the way the wolves are that are spread out through other characters which i think was kind of interesting um, and from there, it grew and grew because of these guys and everybody else that's involved in our production. And we can't wait to share it with you when uh, when it's ready. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Any more questions? No. Yeah, yeah. That's the guys. Yeah. <laughs> David, do you have a question? I I don't. I like putting everybody on the spot. Man. Yeah. When's your next don't. project? What's the next scene? Next scene is this Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. And then we get to go back in February to, for more. Why is it we always end up in like the freezing? Like, yeah. The oh, yeah. Yeah. The year. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Yeah. So, but we do have another question. Okay. Oh. Mark Bowie. Hi, Mark. Hey, wants Mark. to know: Will Volkov ever or ever have any boating water scenes? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. Without spoiling anything. Maybe. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, there's this bit about a shark and uh, and a dolphin, <laughs> merman, merman. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, you brought it up. I didn't say anything. He did. <laughs> no, you brought up the idea. There, there has been an action scene planned for water sports. Let's just put it there. Water sports. That just sounds bad. <laughs> just sounds just, bad. Just know that the, no, the any, any type of same particulars we can't uh, announce that because that take away from the suspense of the movie. So respect. Wow. Do, do we want to talk about how we went from the trailer into a, a full fledged production? Sure. Yeah. 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 So going back a little bit with the. Uh, uh, being brought in just as a as an extra in the trailer um I, I host an event every year to to help highlight local talented people and i invited these guys and said, hey do you guys want to come down and do this and and uh you know, they use that opportunity to to do the the premiere of the trailer uh and sell tickets to the the full-fledged premiere which uh, uh which johnson v still on 
came out to a bunch of other people uh and, and it was a really good time and uh we sold out that day <laughs> yeah, yeah that yeah. was awesome yeah. and then um from there it was you know they they had the realization you know, we could actually do something with this uh and then was was the script writing and and things like that um and then was uh, the the gofundme uh yeah 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 and they they were going to start a gofundme so we could get all of this going and uh but there was a, a time crunch with one of the locations and uh and that's actually really where i i kind of bit into this to to get involved is is uh, uh helped get all that done so they can meet the time crunch and and get those particular sequences uh filmed and done and and yeah so we've we've been here since and it's been a huge help too because oh, yeah. george and i can tell you how many how many times we've sat on the phone i just trying just frustrated they can you know What's going to happen here? You know, we've got this place. This is where it's going to be. And then obviously when like, you know, uh, the pandemic hit, everything shut down. So there was locations and things that we had already planned on that just aren't available anymore. So having to mm -hmm. find like a road, mm -hmm. it, being in Northern Virginia, you don't, we needed an open road that, you know, I'm not going to go into the whole scene, but it just doesn't exist around here. So, um, you know, spending you know, getting up at you know five six o'clock in the morning. Sorry, not four like Shannon. Yeah, but <laughs> but uh, but uh, being up early and then just kind of getting lost places and it's just that to me that's kind of the fun of it though. Because yeah. you, I you know I was I was I remember I was I was uh, I think you guys were on vacation mm -hmm. I think and I was driving around and I found this road so I'm driving got my phone out and I'm like trying to video to send it to him at the same time and I'm so excited and it's just things like that to me are just makes this whole. Something small like that makes this process so it's just exciting and fun. There are so many moving parts that people don't realize behind the scene, and that's kind of why I wanted us to be here is because, you know, we couldn't have this done without any of these guys. And when any of the actors do, I mean, there's, you know, the entire 78 people, our cast and crew, uh, everyone is an equal part. Everyone is, a, you know, a cogwheel that turns this machine. And with one broken cogwheel, it doesn't work at all. So we are all even uh that's how i see it there's no person higher than the other uh that's what makes this work so well well i love your approach i mean that's awesome you you don't have a lot of people saying that you know usually whoever's in charge you know they're in charge because they've got a, a huge ego but listen let's talk about your team they won that sound award hollywood sound award oh my yeah. gosh yeah. 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 right right <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My work. Uh, do we have another question? I have a few questions. Oh, okay. oh wow. um, So Jennifer wants to know what was it like to film in a former prison? Pretty oh, cool. Man. That was pretty Head damn awesome. awesome. Head I mean, I loved it. The the hallways. The best part or the worst part was trying to. George is not a small guy. I'm not a small guy. We've got <laughs> 15, 20 prisoners. Prisoners. And literally that hallway between the cell and the wall, there's not a lot of space. Well, Shannon and I were literally butt the butt trying to spin, spin around. around and it, but I mean, it was extremely fun. Yeah, work, Workhouse Art Center has been a blessing in disguise. They are awesome individuals. Their property is awesome. Um, they've helped us out a lot with a bunch of scenes. So a huge shout out to them. Uh, we, we love you guys over there. Alan wants to know, will Volkov ever cross over any other project in the works? That's actually Ooh. an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I don't really, I, don't, I, don't, I just I don't, got a really good idea. I, think, I mean, what I can say, in, I'm, I know what you, I know what you're saying. You're like, Wes, so she don't say it. <laughs> no, I mean, with, the, one of the cool things about this, especially with origin is an origin story. So there's so many characters that are, that are introduced in this that, and that with us in the time frame that we have, I think one of the most exciting things about this is that there's so many different stories that could come from what we're working on right now. We have the Volkov verse. Yeah. I mean, I mean Brutus the Volkov Volkov verse, but Volkov uh, verse. Uh, entire season of Brutus and where he came from, or, you know, this, that's not to say too much. We've talked to a few distribution companies and, you know, they've actually asked us, uh, is this something that you guys can see going into a series? And it's kind of awesome hearing that from those people. Uh, so it definitely kind of blows up your mind. Like this could go 
pretty far, mm -hmm. not just a two hour movie. This could spawn off in the seasons. Uh, so yeah, every character has kind of a segue, its own path and this film. So. <clears throat> um, Wes has a question for the actors. What methods do you use to immerse yourself in your character? Oh, um, I can answer that yeah. first. Jack Daniels. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was very nervous the first time that I was in front of camera. And, right, um, Jack Daniels. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Shannon helped me out a little bit that day. Gave me a couple nips in the bathroom, and I went back and I did a, the. I think a pretty good job. So. David Lewis, <laughs> brought to you by Jack Daniels, available at your local Virginia ABC store. Grab a bottle now. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, Ethel wants to know of all the awards you have received and won, which are you the most proud of and why? Hmm. Probably the first one, just because it was the first one. Uh, it. You know, you go from just trying so hard and not getting any recognition until that one person says, this is the best film of our festival. Like that feeling just trumps everything. And not to say that we've gotten numb to it at all. Like every time we get selected or anything, it it's an amazing feeling. But that first time uh, was definitely the best. And it just kind of, you know, lifted everyone's spirits. Like, holy cow, we're, we're being recognized. And we've been... Uh, Rome, Italy, Paris, Australia. all over. I mean, wow. yeah, Africa, I mean, pretty much every continent we've won or been selected in. So it's it's a very humbling experience to be, uh, you know, included in, in all these festivals. That's amazing. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you have any more questions before I moved on? Nope, not yet. <clears throat> You're up. No, nope, you're good. up. Okay. You know what? I am interested in knowing which, what actor do you guys, each one of you, you know, you might have one or two, what person has inspired you uh, as an actor? You know, when you think of someone when you were younger or, you know, a little younger um, than you are now, you know, who did I you? Mean, I was never had any aspirations as an actor i wanted to be a musician from kindergarten on up so my kind of guys were great front men um like a uh, david lee roth from van halen uh mick jagger puts on a great show so that's what inspired me to just kind of be me basically. <laughs> um and then you know wes gave me the chance to play his father in the movie and i've never acted a day in my life and i was nervous as hell man he nailed it um talked to wes met george um asked them my whole thing was what do you want me to do and i'll do it <laughs> like a, like so you never had any aspirations no. to be an actor you, no, you never thought no. having a, that is amazing. No. How many of you guys felt like that? Were there any, what about the rest of you? Did, had you thought about acting at all? Any of the rest of you? Uh, I was in a high school play years ago. I mean, I played a thug, but I didn't have very many lines. In but the uh, tree, actually. I've always, <laughs> I've always been into movies. And uh, um, I, I, I think one of the, in my earlier years, the actor that meant a lot to me was probably uh, De Niro. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and in my later years, I, I have to go with James Gondolfini. Um, oh, yeah. I thought he was an excellent actor. I mean, if you knew the man in person, the king. he was just totally different than from his own acting scenes. So he, he just really played a good role in The Sopranos and every movie he's ever been in. So... Absolutely, yeah. I mean, James Young Dolphini, hands down. I guess for me, um, I've always, I've always uh, really been a big Gary Oldman fan. I, I love the fact that that guy's a chameleon. I mean, he can play anything and anybody in his range. It's I've just been watching him over and over because he'll go from a serious, uh, fun, you know, or just a, just an average guy to the opposite end where he's just angry. It's it's unbelievable. Just his delivery. Um, that and Joseph Morgan is another um, 
actor that I've been following a lot lately who, you know, he plays Klaus Michelson in the Vampire Diaries, the originals. I just love the, the vibe that I get from him. It's unbelievable. Fantastic. So. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> you, so Wes, had you been thought about acting since you were a little kid also? I've been obsessed with film and, and, and uh, my whole life. Um, I oh, was a wow. kid. I was at the movie theaters every weekend. Um, you that can't was my be in thing. a car with them without hearing about some film, obscure yeah. film. Yeah, too. yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> or as we like to say, really bad movie Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I just loved it. I loved the atmosphere. I loved, you know, just the connection that I had with with different characters and different films that I grew up with, and that just evolved more and more and more. Um, I had a friend named Scott Hansen who is a, a the director and owner of a company called Digital Thunderdome, and Years ago, I guess a part came up where he was looking for someone, a, kind of a fill-in, I was a SWAT mm -hmm. agent. We, we happened to have a conversation. I got in my truck, drove overnight, slept in my truck there, spent the entire day with all of them at Digital Thunderdome for the movie The Possession Experiment, and I fell in love with it right there. Just seeing wow. how everything was done. Um, it was just, it was a dream come true. And it's it just a dream that the journey just keeps moving forward, and it's every day something new, so. Amazing, amazing. Next, Mark. Uh, I actually, I never wanted to be an actor. Uh, I, I grew up wanting to be a drummer. Uh, <laughs> animal was switch seats. Animal. <laughs> yeah, animal was my favorite Muppet, and, yes. and it was just so much fun, and you know, just going wild on the drums. And I, that's what I wanted to be. Uh, but being in a in a fairly strict military household, that just simply wasn't going to happen. Um, and as cheesy as this is going to sound, and as much as Shannon's going to pick on me for saying this. What gets me going and, and wanted to, to be a part of this team and, and getting this production done is, is actually is these guys. It's it's their passion for it. It's it's their vision just overall. Uh, it's that we have become a brotherhood and a family. Uh, and and you know, knowing everyone's stories, like what was it, what, two weeks after the, the premiere that uh, uh, unfortunately Shannon had a, a very – Two weeks before, or before, two weeks before. It was two weeks before. Yeah, yeah. Shannon had a, a a very significant loss, but you know, with with how close we had had gotten, how quick, you know, we we were all there yeah. you know, for him, and uh, you know, again with you know Charles and and his story and everything, but he and I have developed a, a pretty good brotherhood here, and you know, again rekindling everything with with Wes and George after you know a decade of of. Uh, <laughs> You know the local music scene, and then you know some. You know again that time away, and again meeting you know David, and you know and all the all the small victories in it with everybody, and then you know even even away from the set, the you know the the small victories, all the triumphs, all the the hardships, and you know we're we're all here for everybody, and that's you know that's that's what I'm here for, and and uh, you know it's we're we're here to here to put on a, a good show for everybody, and you know, move on to the next one. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. Charles, George, who's next? <laughs> Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as everybody knows, my testimony when I was in prison uh, was a moment with my grandmother that uh, helped me uh, understand that acting was my destiny. But growing up, um, I was more into classical actors like Cary Grant, uh, you know, the Steve McQueen's, uh, James Cagney, Humphrey Bogart, Sidney Poitier, going into the midway actors like wow. And so forth until our modern day time actors, uh, and say James Gandolfini, Daniel Day Lewis, came to be one of the best method actors out there. Um, but what I came to realize that as, as, a, as an actor, um, when people watch this on TV or commercials, it's an escape for them from their reality. You don't know what, what the person's going through. So we have an accountability to make sure the escape is worth them coming back again. Like, you know, you're not like how you be in a situation, they might have a bad day. So, you know what? I'm gonna watch my favorite TV show. Let me call my family over, or, you know, my girlfriend, or whatever. So I feel like we have a responsibility to make sure that the escape is always needed. And uh, so that's why people love Volcar Gordon. It's an escape now. Of course, it's you know, people it's not an inspirational type of thing. I mean, it's action, suspense, you know, got some gore. But the main thing about Volcar that you understand is that a villain. I think why this is so unique and why I got captured by the the, the, the script. Every time you see a villain, you never know the backstory because a villain doesn't become a villain. It's a misunderstood hero. And I think, you know, with, you know, Wes and George and Ralph and uh, even West, other West coming as a co-writer, it made people understand playing devil's advocate. 
and understand that a quarter got both sides of heads and the tails. And this is why, you know, Fall Cup Origin is going to be a capture and escape for many across the world. Wow. Your turn, Joel. I mean, I've never had an ambition to be an actor. Um, I mean, up until a few years ago, I really didn't ever think I was going to be a director, to be honest. I mean, I could sit here and say Spielberg and M. Night Shyamalan and all these people are, you know, I love these directors and they're all great. I mean, they all have different films that we all love. Um, I just love being behind a camera and capturing what these guys do. Uh, I love it. I love setting up lights and doing sound and and it's just, I love being behind the camera. Um, it's my passion. I love tech. I do it. Like I said, 40 hours of work at Amazon. Then I come home and get to play with my own gear uh, all week, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I'm so glad you all laughed. I was like, if I'm the only one laughing right now. It's going to be like, wow, mm. that guy. Yeah. I actually have another question. Yeah. From Mike Harris, um, he wants to know what advice you would give someone wanting to work either behind or in front of the camera, but don't really know where to start. Reach out to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. reach yeah. out to us. Yeah. That's how I got started in this. Yeah, I also want to know um, what advice would you give yourself knowing now what you do know? I so, think you other, than, other than saying reach out, I think that's a very bland comment as well. Uh, you may not like what we shoot or do, and, and there may be something else you want to do. Maybe you want to do comedy. Uh, there are tons and tons of Facebook groups, uh, Virginia, DC, Maryland actors groups. Uh, there are tons of groups that get together, um, like coffee and, and actors on Sundays. Those are kind of things that, you know, getting out there and meeting people face to face is a huge thing. Don't ever be shy to reach out and talk to somebody. Um, you know, a lot of the people in our film are brand new and we love it. I love being able to, to give my knowledge to somebody else. And I love getting knowledge from other people. It's the only thing that makes us grow is keeping on learning from each other. Um, it's the only thing that's going to make us grow as a team. Um, there's always going to be a better camera. There's always going to be a better actor. There's always going to be somewhere stronger and faster and hungrier than you. Uh, best thing we can do is just keep on trying harder. So, I think we learn from each other. Yeah, we definitely yeah. do. I mean, yeah. I learned a lot from you. Yep. Learn. <laughs> I learned <laughs> learn from you guys. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. See the love I get? It's wonderful. <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Well, let me ask you, George. Now, what what are your hopes for the movie? It'll it will come out next summer, right? April or May? Uh, hopefully before that. We're we're aiming for April. You know, things got a little delayed with with COVID, obviously, um, like everyone did. Um, not only did we have that delay, uh, I had a personal delay this past April. Which I haven't really talked about. It's you know, kept with family and friends and the people in yeah. the film just because. But my 12 year old son suffered a stroke, and you know that yeah. shut my world down completely, and it's still affecting us. But you know, I we're see. able to move on. He's a little bit out of the woods, but you know, back to back things like that. You know, our first scene was filmed in December 2019, and here we are, almost to December 2021. So you know, as much as we wanted to get this done last December, you know, things happen and. My motto is I don't want to rush it. I want to do it right uh, because these these are the reasons why distribution companies are looking at us is because we take our time with it and we make sure we're doing it right. Sure, they want it to do, be done faster, and you know I assume <laughs> I know why, but uh, you know we want to be perfected with it. I I don't like carrying too many projects, more than one or two at the same time, because I want to put 100% into each project. I don't want to share a load and say, you know, I'm going to give 50% to this movie and 50% to this movie. I want to make sure I'm giving it a while to one project. So in April or May or sooner, hopefully sooner, we'll be able to see you on the big screen or will this be a selected? I, mean, <laughs> I, I have a feeling George is going to sneak into this film at some point, somewhere. Not, we've been trying, trust me, we've been trying, I've been trying. We're, we're going to find a way. Yeah, yeah. So there will we yeah, it'll happen. Right, someone's gotta drive the boat. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it'll be aware. <laughs> well, I mean, just the parts that I've seen, I mean, it looks absolutely awesome. I I cannot wait to see the whole thing. I, I told George it really I kind of got the feeling of like silence of the lambs. It looked like a movie on that, you know. Yep. Um you know, type of setting and theme. And I mean, it, it looks larger than life. 
Yeah, you know? it's definitely a psychological thriller is kind of how we want to describe it. Oh my gosh. Hi, Thank it's you. A family <laughs> Stop telling lies. <laughs> Well, listen, we're probably down to our last 12 minutes. Um, George, what do you want the audience to know? I mean, we can go around and ask all of you, but what is in your heart? What What is your, um, what would you like to say to the audience? What is in your heart that you'd like to share with everyone? First off, I want to thank everybody who has supported us from day one. So yeah, many guys people rock. have supported thank us. You guys. Uh, I mean, people have driven from out of state to come to our pilot. Uh, people have funded us. People have lent us their homes. Um, amazing, amazing people. Um, other than these guys, <laughs> the people who watch us and support us are just as equally as awesome as these people. So uh, I can't thank them enough. And that's the one and only thing I want to say is thank you very much for supporting us. Ooh, yes. Do you have any fundraisers coming up? That we could support um, or any anything like yeah. that or you no know, we had that Hollywood yeah. one that was that was pretty fun. Yeah. Um but that was a show. I mean we're, oh, we're yeah, we're, we're, yeah we're, we're kind of on the home we stretch. We don't talk so. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're hopefully in the home stretch. And like I said, hopefully this will be done in April. Um I can't promise that it's gonna come out in April just because there are talks with distribution companies that may delay things and maybe on a different streaming platform. So we can't control that, but uh, it will definitely be done in April. So thank awesome. you guys for sticking awesome. with us through all of this. It's been quite a ride. So we can hope to see this like on Apple TV or um, yeah. next uh, week? It's up in the air. I mean, bare minimum would probably be Amazon would be bare minimum. OK, OK. Well, that's a hey, that's a great start. I mean, yeah. I, and the boss lady's I, laughing at you. Uh, yeah. what, we, what we Johnson trust. wants to know if we can start a fundraiser to get Charles a chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was a good one. Tell me to keep his money. <laughs> I think you missed the joke. It blacked out for a minute. What were you saying? What made you laugh? Oh, Wes Johnson wanted to know if we could start a fundraiser to get Charles a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have an entire sectional behind all these yeah. guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about the rest of you guys? You want to contribute to that uh, question? Any, I'm sorry, I, what was the anybody question? Anybody want to piggyback? <laughs> what do you What wow. do you want or the fans and the crowds to to know? Yeah. I just hope you enjoy it. It's it's so much fun doing this and being with this yeah, film family. What would you like to know about, you know? Oh, you're cutting they, out. They got a little choppy. Can you repeat that? Hmm. I think Let's all repeat. give the I'll, line. I'll go on. Uh, I, uh, I totally agree with uh, Charles and what he was saying about how uh, uh, movies and TV are a, are a uh, release for people to get away and just get bad times out of their minds. And uh, as long as we're able to contribute in doing something like that, it's it's something that we're all very proud of. So, uh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have to follow up with George as well. I would have to say, you know, our appreciation to everybody that's supported us, uh, people that have had uh, even comments that weren't that you know were negative, but you know everything's welcome. So it's like it's a learning experience, and you know just that I'm excited to see our film family grow into future projects and see everybody branch out and grow and meet more people and and you know create new content. Um, one thing I did want to say though, I did want to everybody hold on, Georgia. I did want to give a shout out to Jedi. Oh, yeah. He's watching yeah. it right now. Yeah, yeah buddy. And, hey, buddy, we yeah, love you. We want to know how much you know. We love you, and we support yeah. you, and we're so proud of how strong you're doing, and for how strong you guys have been too. We just want you know you're always a part of it, family. So, so I got awesome. little... okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> now, folks can page? keep updated on your Facebook uh, group page. You have. Uh, uh, the name of the the movie, right? Um, yep. uh, there's Volkov Facebook uh, Origins. Uh, forward slash Volkov Origins, and then we have an Instagram page as well. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, Instagram Twitter, and a Facebook, Facebook page. Okay. Yeah, I can't figure out Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, Twitter. No, no, no. That's pretty cool. Okay. So is that a good place to reach out to uh, any of you guys if people yeah, have shoot a personal message? We're we're human. Yeah, if you go on Facebook and hit church, <laughs> yeah, Zolkoff Origin, it, it, it'll pop up there. And yeah, I mean, please write us, say hi. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This has just been an amazing. Well, you can West, I can give you oh, West's cell we phone number off. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, all the time, you see? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, my yeah, gosh. I'm, like, I'm, I'm calm and I'm having fun right now, but I can be here. <laughs> <laughs> This has been amazing. You guys are, I, I can see you have uh, so much energy, positive energy, and just I can feel the love, you know, amongst all of you. And that that's great. You know, you are like family. I know um, whenever Charles, uh, a lot of times on his Facebook page, he'll say, hey, fam, you know, and I, I think that's a great concept, you know, to just embrace people and make them feel like, you know, they're part of what you're doing because they are, you know, people come to love you all and, and just, um, you know, want to encourage you and be part of it. Uh, I think that's a great feeling. You know, sometimes people don't have that kind of camaraderie, even with their own family, you know, sisters or brothers. And then, of course, you've got people they don't have any family or siblings, you know. So this this is awesome to see how this evolves and how you guys came together and you're gelling in such a, a wonderful way. And I want to thank you. I feel like fam now too. I mean, so definitely before you do the, uh, you know, before the movie comes out, want to get together again with all of you guys so people can be looking for it, be expecting it. And we just want to build that momentum and, and keep it going. And, um, uh, I, I just love what you do. I salute you. Thank you so much for you. You allowing me to interview you and uh, have you know this, this awesome you. opportunity. Any last remarks from any of you guys? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, if if you're paying attention to this and you haven't done so already, go out to, to YouTube and check out the trailer. Just search for Volta yes. Origin. Origin 2021. Right? 20, yeah, that's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Volkov Origin 2021. Uh, and as far as as the production itself is concerned, and, and the the final, you know, cut of everything, strap yourselves in. It's going to be an awesome ride. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and I guess we also want to thank you for having us yeah, on here. This has been thank you very this much. is fun. So that you know, obviously we're a, a, a different group when you get us all together, and and uh, it's we, we like to have a good time. But we thank you for taking the time out to uh, to, to bring us on your show. Yes, yes. And I want to tell our audience, thank you so much for tuning in. Please share, share, share. We want to get the word out about this uh, fantastic movie. And uh, hey, we want to see these guys, you know, take the walk in Hollywood and, you know, do all that jazz and it'll be so <laughs> exciting. And so uh, thank you again, guys, for showing up and just being who you are, you know. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, how, and let me ask you one more question: How did you get the courage to feel like you could move forward in this and make something uh, this creative come forth? How, how does that happen? Is it just because you took the training, or is it just a passion that you've always had? You know, because I, I hear a lot of times people talk about how they went from, you know, hey, being a truck driver, uh, being, you know, working in a restaurant and, you know, and then you see them on TV, you know, I mean. I think when, we, when we first got started out, it was a lot of leaning on each other. Um, and, you know, like we said, we're family. Uh, we're not just here for each other's highs. We're here for each other's lows. Uh, and we grew. We grew together and we got stronger together. Um, and that's it. We're going to get stronger together and hopefully bring in more people to our team and, uh, we just expand and, and do things that people like, and we keep making movies. All right. Yes, keep making movies. Um, I, I kind of want to say and don't want to say, but break a leg. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey, I did that last summer. Be careful with these movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, audience, we're going to get going. We want to thank you all for coming by and uh, much love to you. Please share the video. Please share the video. 
and just keep in contact. Check them out on YouTube. Check out the, the videos that they have and uh, check out the group, the Facebook group and Instagram. So we will see you again, hopefully in February. We're thinking about coming back again in February and doing this. Yeah. So thank you again, George Dibble and all of the guys, Shannon Ballman, David Deloach. I hope I said that right. Wes Hello. Lee, uh, Mark Lutz. And who was the lady that was reading all the questions? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll come to the boss. Hello, boss. Hello, boss. <laughs> she runs the show. I just, I'm like, I'm a Raj. And Charles, I'm sorry, what Charles Clark, I forgot. He's the one that set all this up for us to meet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I, 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 don't, I don't care about being a line. Like, all I can say is that unity, can, unity cannot be broken and greatness cannot be denied. That's what it, what it comes down to. It's a cinematic masterpiece, and um, you know when we come together as a family, you know, yes, it, it, we create a journey that everybody can be a part of. So absolutely. there's no egos here, only results. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you, get thank you again, guys, and we're gonna call it a night, and we will see you in February 2022. Thank you, thank you, thank you Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Thank you again, guys. Thank you. All right, Bye. talk to you later. We're out of here.